feel so good about myself i feel like i'm romancing myself i feel like i'm giving myself that hello there my loves welcome back to my youtube channel this is another feminine journey youtube video thank you so much guys for subscribing to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to my youtube channel so that we can grow anyway let's start so this video per the title you can see how to romanticize your life and we're gonna start with number one have a routine start with a routine every single day start with a routine whether it's meditating whether it's listening to music however you prefer or starting with a prayer it's your day because most of the times when you don't have a routine you just wake up and you let just let things flow you'll find out that your day is just all over the place so meditation videos or a podcast or anything just have a routine every single morning even if it's like for around the first 20 minutes of your day the moment you wake up have a routine listening to music uh i prefer listening in the morning to like pop or some slow r&b to set the mood straight so that uh, because normally I'm not a morning person, so I prefer something that is a little bit subtle just to set my, because most of the times my mind is very, very, I, I woke up, I wake up very, very low or I'll say, let's just say I'm not a morning person. <laughs> so I prefer starting my day by with a prayer and some slow music or some pop just to wake me up, set my goals. Like in the morning, I know, uh, maybe i start by knowing what to wear in the morning yeah so a routine like really really helps me in the morning number two skincare routine yes have a skincare routine it helps you to tap into your femininity most of the times because uh like personally i experienced dark spot and hyperpigmentation and as you can see from my previous videos because this channel this channel i talk most most times about my skincare routine, how to fade out my dark spots, my hyperpigmentation, and everything I have incorporated into my skincare routine. Being consistent has really, really helped me to fade out my dark spots. Like right now, as much as you can see, I have very minimal makeup. And as you can see, my dark spots, I don't have my dark spots anymore. They are fading out. I can say like, um, right now i only have like 30 percent of the dark spots but that the reasons to why it's because i have been very very consistent in this journey to fade out my dark spots so that is it's kind of like i'm romancing my life i'm romancing myself because i'm giving myself so much energy and i'm being consistent with my self-love and how I've learned to love myself so much during this journey and that has really really helped me to romanticize my life because I do small small things for myself that I don't expect someone else to do for me. Number three, cleanliness. Like okay personally I have an OCD so I can't stay in a place where by the place is not clean and you know cleanliness is next to godliness so how to uh, this helps you to romanticize yourself because most of the times when you are in a cluttered place or in a dirty place you tend to not i feel like you your mind is your mind is not like clearer so cleanliness really, really helps you when uh, you have things intact, you, uh, your house is like very, very clean. Like most of the times I do my general cleaning on Sundays and during the day, I, like most of the time in the morning as I'm preparing myself, you'll find me in the sink. I'll wash my dirty dishes. I'll make my bed. So in simple terms, in the evening when I come from work, when I get into my house, my house is clean it's smelling so nice i feel like i feel like i'm in a room whereby 
it feels so good you're supposed to be very very clean like you're supposed to be in a very organized place number four go for solo dates yes uh in my previous video whereby how to glow up i stated that you're supposed to like learn to take yourself out on dates it could be lunch it could be even coffee or even a dinner date the same things that you expect someone else to do for you learn to do them for yourself like i said skincare like i said cleanliness and taking yourself on solo dates uh try to find things that really really makes makes you feel so good about yourself this is all about self-love like treat yourself with your own love language you see those love languages that you want someone else to show you like especially a man how about you start doing those things for yourself if it's a acts of service go ahead buy yourself some flowers go ahead cook your favorite meal like my favorite meal is rice and some really really nice stew i do that most of the times for myself those days when i want to give myself so much love i have to cook my favorite meal those are the small things that make me happy so learn to give yourself those love languages that you want other people to give them to you another thing learn to live for now that's where you practice gratitude like live for now live a stress-free life I, life can be a little bit like really really hard but you have to try your to try so much to maybe control your emotions uh manage your stress if it's your bills if your bills are really really catching up on you and you're unable maybe to do one two three you can try to find a side hustle because being financially stable like it's the ultimatum when it comes to maybe romanticizing your, yourself like get to the bag like personally i have my own side hustle i have my nine to five that's my main and i also sell products small small products from to my friends and that really really helps me to do small small things for myself like money for the nails Mm -mm, that ain't coming from my salary money for my hair that ain't coming from my salary it's from my small small side hustle and that really helps me to like really really romanticize myself like to buy for myself the small small things that i really really like so like learn to be like find a way to be financially stable it will really really help you in your femininity journey another one this is the biggest 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 one personal boundaries create boundaries and by creating boundaries it's that goes for relatives that's your own family friends or even acquaintances personally i don't pick up calls after nine and it's nothing it's nothing personal but it's personal to me because i feel that that is my me time at around nine that's when i'm doing my skincare routine at around nine that's when i'm preparing myself like um that's when i'm i'm trying to see like tomorrow like journaling for tomorrow the things that i'm gonna do so i don't need other than if unless it's an emergency i don't pick calls i only pick calls for family and even them they know uh i make them know unless if you want to check up on me please do it during the day if you want to maybe talk my, like for my friends if they want to talk to me can you try to do it before nine because after nine that's my me time because i sleep at 10 i've created that is what i've created for myself i sleep at 10 so at around eight nine over there skincare routine if i'm cooking if i'm trying to put my wardrobe together for tomorrow when i'm going to work so that is my me time 
and creating that boundary has like really really helped me to like manage myself and to put myself together i feel like uh when i have such kind of boundaries it they make me feel like i have my life together so you can try it out like learn to create boundaries when it comes to people another thing i think this is the major one overall maintenance when it hustles they help me to find money to make my nails find money to make my hair find money to like maybe buy myself small small things can so overall maintenance really really make you look kept together example always make sure your hair looks nice always make sure your nails are done always make sure like for example my skincare routine top notch make sure you're always because i will always say this how you dress how you look it will determine the people you attract how you are approached and how you feel about yourself when when i'm i'm looking all barby like today you see like i'm learning how to do my eyebrows i don't know how to do it but i'm i'm trying as you can see it makes me feel so good about myself i feel like i'm romancing myself i feel like i'm giving myself that love the little little things that i do for myself so when i when i'm looking pretty i feel good and even people approach me differently you'll find someone telling you oh you look pretty i like your hair oh i like your nails oh i like your dress code it really really makes you feel so good about yourself so a well-kept woman is a very approachable woman so even it will change the kind of men that you attract so really really those are my five tips when it comes to romanticizing my life so i would tell you guys to try to incorporate that that is number one that was have a skincare routine have a routine like normal routine like it's like a ritual you wake up in the morning you meditate or you maybe you go to the gym or maybe you journal or start with a prayer another thing those are solo dates Take yourself on solo dates another thing cleanliness cleanliness is next to godliness and when you're in a clean house when you're in a clean place when your things are kept to, uh when your things are organized when your house is organized you feel good it creates a positive energy and also overall maintenance that is your wardrobe dress the way you like like dress well change your wardrobe make your nails take yourself uh, go make your hair always make sure you are looking pretty remember self-love is not selfish because life is about self and remember you're a person not a product so love yourself learn to love yourself incorporate all your love languages learn to love yourself thank you guys if you like this kind of videos kindly give them a thumbs up and please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in my next video love you guys